I'm going to describe how we generate a pressure mole fraction phase diagram for two immiscible liquids. And this is at one temperature, in this case, 100 degrees C. The liquids are water and normal octane. So let's look at the diagram and then talk about the various parts on the diagram. So at low pressure, we have only a vapor phase. High pressure, we have two liquids that do not mix. This point is corresponding to pure water. This is the saturation pressure of water. So lower pressure is only vapor, higher pressure is only liquid. At this pressure, which is 1.01 bar at 100 degrees C for water. Likewise, this is the saturation pressure for in octane, which is at 100 degrees C, 0.47 bar. And then where we have the two liquids and a vapor in equilibrium, that corresponds to this pressure. And this pressure is just the sum. So it's the saturation pressure of water plus the saturation pressure of in octane. And this is 1.48 bar if we add these two saturations. So only at this pressure do we have two liquids in equilibrium with the vapor. And of course, the vapor has both components. The composition of the vapor, so the mole fraction of water, for the vapor that's in equilibrium with the two liquids must be the saturation pressure of water, since that's its partial pressure, over the total pressure, which is the saturation pressure of water plus the saturation pressure of octane, And this is 0 0.68 mole fraction. This large region here corresponds to having liquid normal octane in equilibrium with the vapor that contains both species. So if we have liquid octane present, its partial pressure is its saturation pressure, and then the partial pressure of water is below its saturation pressure. Likewise, in this area over here, we have liquid water in equilibrium with the two components in the vapor phase. So how do we generate these two curves? Well, let's look at mole fraction water of 0 0.2. So mole fraction of water is 0 0.2, means the mole fraction of octane is 0 0.8. And what we want to determine is what's then the pressure. So the mole fraction of octane is going to be the partial pressure of octane. Since we have liquid present, that partial pressure is the saturation pressure over the total pressure, which is what we're trying to determine in order to locate this point. So total pressure, saturation pressure, which is 0 0.47, and in the mole fraction, 0 0.80, gives us a pressure of 0 0.59 bar. And indeed, that's how then we plot this value. This pressure is 0 0.59 bar. Likewise, we can generate other points using the exact same reasoning. We do the same over here, except now partial pressure of water is the saturation pressure. And so we can generate these curves just from if a liquid's present is exerting its saturation pressure and the partial pressure of the other component is less than the saturation pressure.